Jeremiah's point of view. They're so cute. Wow, like, come on. The Summer I Turned Pretty TV show is coming out June 17th and you know what that means. I have to reread the first book because I am the type of person where I need to compare and contrast the book and the adaptation like word for word. I need to see what they changed, what they kept the same, what I like more, just the whole vibe of it. So I'm going to be doing a reading vlog on The Summer I Turned Pretty. I am buddy reading this with my friend Carly. She's also filming a vlog too so I'll be sure to link her channel down below so make sure to check her out. But I'm so excited to be reading this with her. Her and I have loved this series for years so it's really nice to be able to kind of dive back into this universe, be at Cousins Beach, with someone who loves the series just as much as I do. Also, I'm extremely curious. If you've read the series, let me know. Are you team Jeremiah or team Conrad? I'm team Jeremiah. Don't judge me. My copy is pretty beat up because I've had this since like eighth grade. Chapter one. This will never get old. I really relate to this part where Belly says, We drove through town slowly and even though I just teased Steven about it, I didn't really mind. I loved this drive, this moment, seeing the town again, Jimmy's Crab Shack, the Putt-Putt, all the surf shop. It was like coming home after you'd been gone a long, long time. It held a million promises of summer and of what just might be. This is how I feel when I first start the book. Like, getting everything described to me and like, just the feeling of what's to come. Like, I know what's gonna happen in these books. Just brings so much comfort and just so many happy memories. I just love the series so, so much. Thank you, Jenny Han, for writing this. I love you. I'm reading the part where they first pull up to the beach house and she's talking about how Conrad and Jeremiah didn't really notice her and now they're looking at her and doing like a double take and everything. I'm picturing that part in the trailer right now and I'm just so excited to watch the show. I'm at the part where Conrad goes, I like you better with glasses. I shoved him away and said, well, too bad my contacts are here to stay. I'm just imagining the trailer now. I love this. I just got to the part about Conrad and Belly going to the amusement park. Him only really going because he wanted to see the ring toss girl. And I feel so bad. But that's how she got Junior Min. <sighs> I'm already feeling some type of way. I love this book. I love these characters so much. As soon as Jeremiah saw me, he sprang up. Ladies and gentlemen, men, men, he began bowing like a circus ringmaster. I do believe it is time for our first belly flop of the summer. I love the belly flop. Now I'm imagining the trailer where like they do the belly flop. This is one of the scenes that I cannot wait to see adapted into the TV show. I feel like this scene is just like iconic the summer i turned pretty so the boys are getting ready to leave to go on like a little camping trip and belly's not invited of course because she's the only girl it says over his shoulder conrad said good night belly and that was it i was in love me too i would fall in love with my mom's best friend's incredibly cute son too <laughs> especially with him being a little bit older i feel like that's just very cliche very natural i just woke up i fell asleep i got some ice cream and cookies I'm in chapter 13. I didn't catch up to Carly because she's on like chapter 30 something. This is why I am team Jeremiah forever and ever and ever. I am a huge friends to lovers. I know a lot of people say that they think Jer and Belly were like platonic friends. I just really love their friendship and like childhood friends to lovers. Love. Later when Conrad and Steven decided to go night fishing, Jeremiah declined even though night fishing was his favorite. He was always trying to get people to go night fishing with him. That night he said he wasn't in the mood so they left and Jeremiah stayed behind with me. We watched TV and played cards. We spent most of the summer doing that just us. We cemented things between us that summer. When it was just us two, he didn't joke around as much, but he was still Jeremiah. He had a talent for making people feel comfortable. Jeremiah, my little golden retriever boy. <laughs> I still get this like giddy feeling whenever I read The Summer I Turn Pretty. I'm on chapter 15. It's present day now. It was raining, so Stephen, Belly, and Jer go to the movies. Conrad stays at home. They're watching a movie. Stephen doesn't want to see it, so he leaves. And Jeremiah goes, nah, I'll stay with Belly. And it goes, Jeremiah looked at me, and he smiled in this familiar way, and suddenly I had this crazy thought. I thought Jeremiah Fisher wants to kiss me, which was crazy. This is Jeremiah. He'd never looked at me like that. I was his pal. His movie watching partner, the girl he shared a bathroom with, with, shared secrets with. I wasn't the girl he kissed. Ah, Jeremiah! It's so cute. I've had this book for like nine years now, I think, and I never annotated it. So now that I'm rereading it, I'm annotating it and I'm loving it. I'm doing orange because orange gives me summer vibes. I just highlighted the cute moment with Jeremiah. Smiling so hard because I got to the part where Jeremiah was teaching Belly how to drive and they talked about like their first kiss and how like Jeremiah was Belly's first kiss and 
I love them. Uh, I got to the part where she goes to the bonfire and she meets Cam. I honestly really liked Cam. I feel like they had a really good meet cute even though he kind of knew who she was prior to the summer and I don't know I just really like that fact that like he noticed her when no one else did and he was interested so I was low-key team cam for a little bit but Jer is always number one in my heart this is where I ended off last night I am on chapter 22 I got to the part where it was belly and cam's first date so I'm on chapter 24 now I feel so bad for cam I remember the first time I read this I wasn't team cam but I did really like him I thought he was a really nice guy and I liked the fact that he noticed Belly before everything, you know? As much as amazing and nice Cam is, he cannot compete with the Fisher Boys. Sorry. I just got to Belly's first kiss. I feel like this scene always gets me so giddy no matter how many times I read it. I love them. I love this. Kiss somebody in the room right now. Easy. He leaned over to me and said, ready? And before I could answer, he kissed me right on the lip. I know my favorite part is coming up. I'm so excited. I just finished the part where Belly got kind of upset because Cam didn't want to go skinny dipping with her. And I don't know, that part kind of irritated me because it was like, he was just being polite. He was just being nice. He was a little shy. I didn't think she needed to act like that. But I'm now on chapter 33 and Belly is going to visit Jer and he works at a lifeguard at the country club and honestly that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to seeing adopted in the show the country club like I want to see Jeremiah's lifeguard I want to see working the whole country club vibe I feel like a ream summer and I'm ready to see it. I am at Belly's Sweet 16 and there's something about Susanna giving Belly the pearls that her dad gave her for her 16th birthday. It makes me so happy. Also, I loved Jer's gift to her. I think it was so cute, so Jeremiah, very thoughtful. Jer, I just love him so much. I'm on chapter 40 and this is my favorite part of the entire book. <laughs> So many things are happening right now. Okay, this is my like all-time favorite love confession. Like nothing tops this. I don't know what Jenny Han put in this, but this scene, this does it for me. This is so good. He took another deep breath. You've always been my best friend, but now it's more. I see you as more than that. He continues scooting closer to me. You're cooler than any other girl I've ever met and you're there for me. You've always been there for me. I can count on you and you can count on me too. You know that. And I know you've always liked Conrad, but you're over him now, right? His eyes look so hopeful. It killed me. Killed me not to answer him the way he wanted me to. I don't know, I whispered. Sucked in a breath the way he did when he was frustrated. But why? He doesn't see you that way. I do. I know. I wish I didn't, but I do. I still do. He'll only end up hurting you, he said, and his voice cracked. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. He sighed. I'm not mad at you. I'm just... Why does it always have to be Conrad? Poor Jer, my baby. Also, Jenny Han posted both of my videos onto her story today. I love her with my whole heart. I love you, Jenny. You're the best. You're my favorite. I love you. Just finished my reread for the first book. It just feels like comfort. This felt like home. Loved it. Obsessed like I've always been for the past however many years. It is Sunday, June 19th. Martian Pretty came out two days ago and I've watched the show four times. I have a little bit of a problem. I reread The Summer I Turned Pretty right before the show came out. Great decision. Very happy with it. I love it. I'm obsessed. The thing is, is I can't stop thinking about it and they haven't even started filming season two yet, obviously, because the first season just came out. But all I can do is eat, sleep, breathe the summer I turned pretty. So I thought, why not continue my reread of the trilogy and start reading the second book? And as we all know, I am a team Jeremiah girl. So this is going to be a lot of fun with me since we get his point of view. No matter how many times I reread this book, and this line is still so painful. I am now on chapter four and chapter four is the first chapter where we get Jeremiah's point of view. And I remember reading this book for the first time like 10 years ago and I was like, oh my gosh, you're going his point of view. I was so excited like I couldn't even put into words because Jeremiah won me over in the first book So I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening and here is a moment of appreciation for the first book boyfriend I fell in love with things got bad fast So bad that my mother was shuttling between Susanna's house in Boston and ours every other weekend at first I was humiliated and I had done it to myself What happened with you and Conrad Belly? Did you have a fight? I can pinpoint the exact moment everything changed It was last summer. Con and I were sitting on the porch and I started to say hey Where's the belly button? And there she was. Conrad saw her first. He was looking over Laurel's shoulder at her. She walked toward us. Her hair was swinging around all over the place. And her legs looked miles long. She had a funny look on her face. A look I didn't recognize. Like shy and nervous, but proud at the same time. It made her laugh. And then she was just belly again. And that was a relief because I didn't want her to be anything but just belly. Listening to Lola and Gavin read this book 
hits different after watching the show. Getting to the part where Jeremiah talks about how he had a game-changing moment where he realized that like things wouldn't be the same and he was interested in Belly and it was when he was making her laugh. She told him, you're the funniest person I know and he said it was one of the best compliments of my life and then he got really jealous of Conrad because Belly was giving him all his attention. I love Jeremiah. He goes, all I knew was I wanted her to look at me like that. After that day, I was done for. I liked her as more than a friend. I maybe even loved her. There have been other girls, but they weren't her. I love him. I'm listening to the prom scene right now and Conrad makes me so mad. The worst prom day ever. I feel like after the show, I have such a new appreciation for Steven. Like I've always liked Steven, but after watching the show, just seeing him more involved and then getting to know his character, absolutely love him. In this part, he is such a good brother to Belly. It's during prom and Steven knows what happened and how bad Conrad was and he just goes, Conrad's not worth it. And Belly understands what this means to him because Steven looked up to Conrad read so much and I love Stephen for this. I just read one of my all-time favorite Jeremiah chapters. It's when he's talking about prom. It just makes me love Jeremiah. It's chapter 13 and he talks about how he was jealous that Conrad got to take her but he could tell Conrad like ruined her prom. He got to take Belly to her prom and he acted like it was some big chore. If it had been me I would have done it right. Team Jeremiah always. I'm gonna continue listening to It's Not Summer Without You right now but I wanted to talk about what I read up to last night. I got up to chapter 17. Jeremiah is just so cute. I literally love him. This book and getting to hear his point of view and how he talks about Belly. He was like trying to ignore her on the trip together but when he's around her he just wants to like grab her and hold her and kiss her and I do have to give props to Conrad because there was a really good Conrad scene here and that was what I read last night where they talked about where she talked about Conrad bringing her to cousins them like spending the night there and stuff. That was really cute. So she talks about how he's cold-hearted and she said for everyone else maybe but not for you Like why can't Conrad always act like that? This does not make the prom scene forgivable though Like the prom scene literally irritates me I wish she went with Jeremiah because Jeremiah talks about how he would have done it right and given her the time of her life I'm now on chapter 17 so I'm gonna listen to that Also, I love the fact that Lola and Gavin narrate the second book and then Lola and Chris narrate the third book Jeremiah said, hey, Dad. Conrad rushed right past us and into the house. Mr. Fisher followed him. I'm in bed now because I have work in the morning. Pimple cream. I'm gonna watch this while I go to sleep. But I wanted to just update what part I'm at in the book. I'm on chapter 31. I have an hour left in the audiobook. And I'm at the part where they're having their last night at the beach house. They're gonna throw a party because they find out that their dad wants to sell the house, which sucks. They kind of have more of an understanding why Conrad went there in the first place. I'm just excited because I know I'm getting to the part where drama's gonna go down. Jeremiah's gonna admit his feelings and like I'm just waiting for the part for the kiss and then Conrad sees them I can't wait guys. I ended up not reading last night I was just so tired. It was getting late and I had to get up early for work But I'm done with work now to say dinner. I think I'm gonna read for a little bit I literally only have like an hour left. I have ice cream and cake and I'm listening to the audiobook still I'm on chapter 31. It's almost over and I'm sad Nicole Red Sox girl just came in the picture first This is why I'm team Jer like I just feel like some of the things he says he just really cares about her compared to Conrad I feel like he's always in tune with his feelings and is willing to kind of say like this is how i'm feeling and i'm not afraid to admit it so he goes con do you like her or not man because i do i like her i really like her he didn't blink didn't even hesitate no it really pissed me off he was full of beep he liked her. He more than liked her, but he couldn't admit it. Wouldn't man up. Conrad would never be that guy. The kind of guy Belly needed. Someone who would be there for her. Someone she could count on. I could. If she'd let me. I could be that guy. But maybe now that Conrad wasn't standing in the way, she'd see me there too. I love Jeremiah. I absolutely love Laurel. Like, she just put Mr. Fisher in his place and love her queen i also really like laurel's relationship with conrad like i feel like they're both very similar they just get each other like they're on the same page they understand each other i really love that relationship especially with Susanna gone conrad can really use a mother figure in his life and i'm very happy that it's laurel the time has come for me to finally want to reread the third book in the summer term pretty trilogy here i go i'm gonna follow along to the audiobook and lola tongue and chris briney are narrating it so i think that's cool it's bittersweet 
to be finishing this up again because I reread the first two books right before the show came out and then I didn't really want to pick up the third book because I was like no I can't do this and I just got the sudden urge to reread it so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> This is hurting my Jeremiah and belly heart. I love them. I was headed back to my dorm room ready to pass out until dinner time. And when I opened the door, there was Jeremiah asleep in my bed. I brought you the other half of my sub from lunch. You're sweet. I can't have my girl skipping meals left and right. <laughs> I love him. Belly wearing heels and having to walk. And then Jeremiah gives her a piggyback ride because her feet hurt so bad. My Jeremiah belly heart can't take this. <laughs> Not Lacey Barone. No. I love them so much no spring break no. they're fighting about going to cabo and honestly i'd be mad like belly the way he went about it it just wasn't wasn't cool this belly conrad christmas scene is so cute i kind of agree with taylor because she's talking about how she doesn't know because belly was asking if she would forgive jeremiah and take him back and she says it's different because they have a history and jeremiah is not just some guy to her which i agree with like i'm 100 team jeremiah right but if i was in belly's shoes i'd 100 be hurt obviously because i wouldn't want my boyfriend being with another girl but at the same time like they were like on a break and i know that's like so much easier said than done because if i was in the situation yeah but it's like a book so that's why i'm like calm about it i don't ever want to be without you ever you are the only girl for me i've always known it in this whole world i will never love another girl the way i love you jeremiah i really love laurel and conrad's relationship they're so cute i agree with taylor the timing of him proposing is really suspicious and the timing is weird the 19 chapters and we still haven't got a conrad chapter what finally a conrad chapter not conrad being jealous i forgot that belly stayed in the beach house with conrad while planning the wedding while jeremiah was away at work mm -mm, not jealous conrad calling belly his girl i'm at the part where conrad is kind of dating this girl and she basically asked you love me have you ever been in love and this is so sad, but Conrad talks about how he's only ever been in love with Belly. And he stayed away from her for two years and he can't trust himself around her. He wants to make sure he takes care of Jeremiah. And I just think it's so sad. It's so sad how no one really supports them wanting to get married. Belly was really upset with Jeremiah hooking up when they were broken up. But as they're engaged, she wanted to kiss his brother. I just feel like, I don't know, like that's not okay. Conrad getting that glass unicorn for Belly. <laughs> not him saying he still loves her oh my gosh i have to play this part because i think this is one of the only times where we see a vulnerable conrad and i think this is one of the moments where it's like wow like conrad i didn't have it in me to love you the way you deserved but i knew who did jer he loved you if i kept you with me i was going to hurt you somehow i knew it i couldn't have it so i let you go he's my brother my family i hate myself for doing this but when i see you two together i hate him too oh my gosh so don't marry him don't be with him. Be with me. His shoulders shook. He was crying. Hearing him beg like this, seeing him exposed and vulnerable, it felt like my heart was breaking. Her having that, like, conflicting inner battle, debating between, like, Conrad and Jeremiah. That's so sad. That literally hurts me. But dang, at least he finally said I love you. Gosh, Conrad. This is why I was team Jeremiah, because Conrad cannot express his emotion. And Jer, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Be like, for me personally, I need that. I love Steven. His only advice was go big or go home and taylor goes what the hell does that mean mm. not them fighting over belly again okay listen to this shut up he yelled don't talk to me about who loves belly more i've always loved her not you you treated her like garbage you left her so many times man you're a coward even now you can't admit it to my face breathing hard i spat out a mouthful of blood and said fine i love her i admit it sometimes sometimes i think she's the only girl i could ever be with oh my gosh you. He said, do you remember he said, infinity he reached out and caught it in the air a silver necklace i held it up and examined it the infinity necklace it didn't shine the way it used to. It looked a bit coppery now, but I recognized it. Of course, I recognized it being near you like this. It hurts. And Jer, Conrad cleared his throat and stepped backward, making space between us. He's the one who needs you. So no, he didn't give me flowers or candy. He gave me the moon and the stars. Infinity. Oh my gosh. I just finished rereading. We'll always have summer, and I teared up. I like the last two chapters even though i'm team jeremiah i'm really happy for belly and conrad because obviously she's loved him for so long their story is really cute and just their relationship in general i feel like a long time in the making i just hate how jeremiah kind of had to get the short end of the stick because i really truly did fall in love with him but again i love both brothers and i'm happy with the way the book ended i just have a really 
some spot for jeremiah reading the first book before the show came out watching the show and then reading the next two books after i watched the show i just feel like it was super super special i'm really happy to see the next two books become adapted i can't wait to see what little changes they decide to make i'm hoping jeremiah gets kind of a better ending i'm happy they're including cam cameron in the second season so that'll be super exciting for the longest time it's been such a comfort for me so rereading it again this year when the show came out i think was definitely special and as always loved it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.